go. Uh, my name is Karina Ferdon. And I'm Forlan the Goth. And uh, I didn't know we didn't have to dress up today, but I figured <laughs> what the heck, might as well look good for this project. <laughs> All right. So well, for our final project, uh, we created a song generator. So for our requirements, uh, our song generator should uh, output two different tunes with the uh, choice of two different uh, push, push, push buttons. We have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is activated by button two, and Super Mario Brothers Z, which is activated by button three. <coughs> and our, also, our song generator should be able to output the notes in the fifth octave in the C major, which is all the eight notes of the, uh, of the scale, using the switches uh, on the Nexus board, which activated or which act as a basically a piano as well. And button zero will be used to uh, turn the output on and off. Okay, so uh, this is our hardware block diagram. Uh, we pretty much adopted the same architecture as Lab 3, our function generator, but we added a, the GPIO uh, input, which were the uh, seven or eight switches. Yeah, um, we originally wanted to implement another um, block diagram, but we decided to use the PMOD I2S. So that we could, um, so that we could hook up our speakers directly onto the headphones to the jack. This is a three point five millimeter uh, input for the uh, headphone jack, and uh, actually, Digilet just came out with these this year, and uh, there weren't there wasn't too much stuff that we found online. We uh, we found out though that uh, the way to interface this was through uh, FSL, which is a fancy flexible. Uh, So design overview, um, so like I said before, our final project implemented the function generator from Lab 3 to produce square waves at certain frequencies, uh, <coughs> which corresponds to the different notes, and uh, they were outputted on our DAC using the uh, stereo speakers. And uh, each tune was generated as an array of frequencies, along with an array of tone lengths, and our system pretty much, it, it went through the arrays and played each frequency. 
frequency or note at for a certain time. And yeah, by uh, yeah by applying our knowledge in reading music off note sheets, uh, we translated each song, and uh, the whole Mario Brothers theme was including all the rests and uh, all the uh, delays between each note, like if you were to play E and then E again. Uh, yeah, it turned out to be almost 600, 600 notes, or 600, uh, our array was almost 600. So, uh, however, the memory on our Nexus board could not handle all the, all the 600 notes, so we had to condense it just a tad bit. So. Um, for integration testing, so we've already gone over with some hardware. Um, we've implemented it just like before, and then just added another uh, GPIO for the switches. Um, and then for the software, in order for us to in, uh, output the different sound frequencies, we had to look up um, the frequencies for each node. And then we ended up using the notes from the pitch octave. And, um, and then for testing purposes, um, we made sure that our buttons and switches were working by using the LEDs on our Nexus board, just outputting it, um, what, which switches were on and, um, and uh, which buttons were being pressed. And we also used the oscilloscope to um, hook up to our DAC just to see the different sound frequencies uh, if that was working correctly. Um, afterwards, we used the jack from the to directly onto the DAC so to see if it's working fine. Uh, and as far as implementing all the different songs, uh, we just made, we just had our program run uh, and then we had to adjust uh, the different timings for each song and uh, where we were going to put a rest in so that it sounded like the original song. So, yeah, so right now, um, did you want to head over? <laughs> okay, do you want, do you want to connect it? So right now it's on free ma free play mode. So then, uh oh, I need to reprogram it. Well, I need it. Your um, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So right now it's on free play mode. So if um, if we toggle any of the switches, it should output all the different notes that we want. Um, and then if we turn our system off, then it shouldn't be outputting anything at all. Um, so that's working correctly. We power it back on, then um, here is a demo of the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> yeah, and if we wanted to turn it off early, it would just power off. Um, <laughs> so now it's back on um, free play mode after turning it back on. And then here's um, our short version of Mario. Yeah, and then after it finishes playing the song, it should just go back to free play mode.